Hi there, my name is Christian, and I'm a product specialist for Keith McMillan Instruments, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Soft Step foot controller with Personas Studio One. I'm using the latest Soft Step editor. You can go get that at keithmcmillan.com. I have a uh, preset made here which addresses common things I need in the recording studio like transport control and being able to locate with markers, drop markers, toggle zooms, and so forth. So on pad one I have transport stop, pad two I have transport play, transport three I have record, transport four is previous marker, five next marker, six expands layers for multiple takes within a track, seven toggles my view, um, zoom, Eight drops a marker. Nine is an undo, which is great because if you're in a bad take, it just backs it up, deletes the old take. And zero adds a new layer, so you can keep the existing take but get a second, third, or any additional takes you want. So that's the preset I made, and you're welcome to it. In Studio One, you just need to make a new external device. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go Preferences, External Devices, and then I'm going to go Add, and I'm going to add a new control surface. Just going to give it a name, uh, Soft Step uh, Studio One. And I'm going to receive from Soft Step Share. That's the proper port when you're using the Soft Step in hosted mode, which I like to do. Hosted mode basically means you're using the editor and it's running live alongside uh, your DAW. Okay, so now I've got that. So now I can actually start mapping the pads on the Soft Step to this control link system that we have here. So I select the device in that pull-down, go into MIDI learn mode, that turns blue, and then I just hit, put my foot on all the pads. And I will turn them all into buttons. These are press releases. I'm making the next two on-offs. I'll explain in a minute. The difference between a press release and an on-off is a press release is a single momentary poke at a button or control, whereas an on-off is a toggle. And I find a toggle easier for certain things like mutes, and in this case I'm using it for play and record transport, which I like to use the toggle for as well. But the rest I'm making press releases. And now I can actually start to associate functions or commands in Studio One with these controls here. So I right click assign command. First one is stop. And you can use the handy search box here to locate whatever control. And you can use macros or com you know, commands, pretty much any function, anything in Studio One, really. Play. I have a macro here that I like, transport play. You can get that at the exchange. And record. previous and next markers. That way I can kind of get around my my session. Six I have for expand layers, so that if I have multiple takes within a track, I can expand or contract them. And seven is a toggle zoom, so that if I have a couple of ranges of view, I can toggle in, in and out. Eight inserts a marker. Actually, is it insert marker? Yes, there it is. And nine is my edit undo. And there's a couple of undos, uh, and I'll undo all and edit undo. That's the one you want for normal, like, take abandonment. <laughs> and the last pad, zero, I'm going to make to new layer or add layer. That way you can get a second, third, or additional take. Cool. So take a look at that. That's how I have it laid out. And so now let's give it a test. Take it out of MIDI Learn Mode. And so now if I hit Pad 3, it should put me in Record Mode. Check, check, check. Hey, I'm recording. Cool. I hit Stop. And I hit Play in pad. Record Mode. Check, check, check. Hey, I'm recording. Cool. All right. If I want to make another layer, I hit 0. I'll give me another layer so I can do another take. 
take two, take two, because the first one wouldn't do. And so that's take two, so hit play. Take two, take two, because the first one wouldn't do. Cool, and let's do a third one, and we'll hit undo and abort it. So, bad take, I don't like this take, so I'm gonna hit pad nine, and so yeah. So that even took back to the, the other take we had before. We can keep undoing as much as we want. Um, if I'm in a play mode or any mode, I can drop markers with pad eight. So I'll drop a marker here and here and here and here. Hit stop. Then I can use four and five on the soft step to navigate around my session. If I have multiple takes, I have to make a tr make sure a track is selected. And then if I hit pad six, it will expand. So let's record that. Here's take one. Hooray. And then here's take two. Hooray. Here's take three. Hooray. So now I've got three layers. And if I hit pad six, that toggles my uh, view of those layers. Pad seven gives me, uh, if I want to have a couple of different uh, zoom ranges, like make one really teeny and then the other one's big I can do that and yeah pad 8 drops a marker pad 9 is edit undo and pad 0 gives me new layers so all very useful stuff in the studio um, but of course you can associate really any command you can make multiple presets with multiple multiple commands maybe addressing different functions and uh, and then also if you want to you can turn a, a soft step uh, scene from hosted mode into standalone which means you won't have to run the editor. And I will show you how to do that in my next video. So stay tuned for more Soft Step with Studio One fun. This is Christian saying enjoy.